Hang on, Tubi. Hmm? This machine is still alive. So destroy it. Maybe we should hold off. Its main drive has been trashed, so there's no way it can attack us. And we might be able to learn something interesting if we study it. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. You know, I'm still not sure any of this is a good idea. The more data we have, the better, right? They're from your, huh? Alert. Targets are rogue units 22B and 64B, currently designated for detention. Um... They come for us, idiot! Prepare to engage and inform the captain! Uh... Got it! You're both currently wanted by command for desertion. Disengage and surrender immediately. Shut your trap! units why the hell did they steal from the resistance in the first place you think anemone might know something to be let's find out
So it turns out those soldiers didn't actually steal anything. Which means... what? 9S to command. Come in. Operator 210 here. Go ahead. It's about the Yorha soldiers who deserted. Copy that, 9S. We've confirmed their status on this end. No, but I mean... The Resistance says that none of their supplies are actually missing. So what's going on here? I lack access to the data concerning this mission. Huh? The order came from the commander herself. What? Operator, I don't understand. Be careful, 9S. I have no further information. Huh? Operator? Operator? The hell is that all about? Let's go. But... We're here to fight. That's all. Places look familiar. One looks like the amusement park, one looks like the desert, and one looks like the forest. Let's keep our eyes open next time we're in any of those areas.
Target location data obtained. Marking on map. Advisable to recover as many of these collectible items as possible. Proposal. Imprint the stamp upon the card. You mean stamp it? This is one of the places in that resistance member's photographs. Better record the coordinates. for you to say.
What was all that about? No idea. So this machine mother has a child, eh? It's surprising to see them form familial units like that. I wonder if they'll let us examine their brain circuits if we bring the kid home. Your scientific curiosity is getting out of hand, 9S. Joking! I'm joking! Mostly. Careful, Tubi. I'm picking up hostels. Over there. Easy there, little guy. It's all right. You weren't scared, were you? We should leave before more enemies arrive. Come on, kid. Don't be unreasonable. Any ideas, to be? I've never dealt with a snot-nosed machine before. You got me. Uh-oh. More enemies incoming. I'm on it. Are you finished? Your mother is worried about you. She sent us here to find you. So quit with the whining and let us take you home already. Okay. Stay close, all right? Don't go wandering off. Hey, mister. Was mommy really worried about me? She sure was. So let's go home and have you apologize, all right?
So yeah, no major developments in this segment since I've been mostly just trying to do side quests and get 2B's level up because it seems like I'm very under leveled given how hard some of the enemies are that shouldn't be that hard, hard to fight right now because you know they're the basic units just higher level. So I'm really trying to actually get my level caught up and trying to figure out I need to go look up and see where I can get titanium alloy because I that's the last thing I need to upgrade my two main weapons I've been using. But still, despite that, it's so, still some interesting things just with the side quest, just because you have so many robots that are, you know, acting like uh, various character tropes, I'd almost say at this point, for like the ninja machine who's all training. It's like a trope off the incompetent mentor who, you know, says they know everything, but, you know, they're kind of a buffoon. Though he is kind of upgrading himself to be more dangerous, so there is that, but there's the mother-child here where, you know, they're acting out. The mother-child rolls, the child, you know, said running away. Mother worrying over the child and whatnot. And this kind of makes you kind of wonder what's going on in terms of if the machines truly are adopting these roles because, like, a free will sent sentience and whatnot, that they're choosing to do this and they want to to better understand people, or if there's an overriding program that's having them do it. But, like, the mother said is they apparently disconnected from the network, which I'm assuming most of the machine intelligences, like the hostile ones, are connected to the network and that directs a lot of their uh, actions and what have you. So I could see being disconnected from the network could be basically how they are being peaceful and whatnot because they aren't getting any overriding orders to, you know, attack, attack, kill. But still kind of wondering what's going on with that kind of thing. I did end up looking up a... Uh, Try to look, look up why uh, all the Yorhor uh, units are mostly female. And the main, like, main, like, meta reason is your. your. Yokotoro? I'm trying to. Yokotoro? If I'm remembering him. I'm trying to remember, visualize his name in my head. I can't remember right off, but. His main thing was that he just really likes girls, and apparently there is, like, a. canonical reason that someone told me on Tumblr that like the male units when they were doing like combat combat battles of those are like emotionally unstable and more prone to going rogue like the Yorha units in that one quest and the female units are apparently more emotionally stable and don't go rogue as often which is kind of interesting I could honestly kind of see that just if you take actual societal kind of things. I mean, it also depends on society. I'm only talking about this from a American perspective. I don't know how it ties into, you know, J Japan, where the game was made, but I can see that in America. I mean, as much as here in this country, people go on about, oh, women off their rocker, hormones raging, blah, 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 blah. There are a lot of men who don't know how to deal with any other emotion other than anger, you know, that's all they do. They're, just, they're not emotionally stable at all, you know, they just see anger as the only emotional outlet because that's how they were raised. They weren't raised being told it's okay to show, you know, other emotions like crying and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure a bunch of people have had that whole deal where they're as a guy grew up and, you know, we're told, oh, boys don't cry, you know, men don't cry, blah, 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 blah. Well, in general, women are raised, raised and allowed to express emotions more with each other and others, which I could see making them more emotionally stable than some guys. I'm not, I'm not don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that men are inherently emotionally unstable or any bullshit like that. I'm just, I'm just speaking from my kind of a perspective from what I've seen, and it's obviously, I'm obviously also generalizing a great deal. But, yeah, uh, that's kind of irrelevant to the main plot, and that's just kind of its own tangent right there. 
But yeah, like I said, there's no major things here other than just seeing uh, more of the machines kind of doing their thing. But uh, I am kind of curious. I am going to try to pursue more story, story more once I get uh, things all up and complete more side quests. Because I've heard that the side quests are kind of, while they're not important for finishing the game per se, they do contain, you know, world building and stuff related to the plot in terms of, you know, they give you a better understanding of what's going on. But, uh... I think I'll kind of cut that one here short, and we'll cut that one here. This segment here, it's not I'm not sure how short this segment's going to be. I haven't edited it yet, but anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, despite the fact there was no big boss battles this time. I we're going to have to cut down some of the fights I had just because they took too long for what they were. This is due to my level and weaponry, which I need to upgrade. But, uh, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in another video down the road. Uh, bye for now.